Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my Let's Die, my Let's Play of Dark Souls. Um, I ended the last part, and just after that, I ran back to the blacksmith right here at the bonfire. And now it's actually time to go to the rooftop of the church and fight the gargoyles. 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 And to do that, I want to be human, and I'm already human, so no problem here. We're just gonna make a quick stop at the blacksmith, see if we can upgrade something. Well, uh, Hello, mate. What you doing, then? Reinforce weapon. I'm going to reinforce what I've already reinforced a little, and that's the spear. I think I will buy a couple of... Come on, mate. I want to buy a couple of these, baby. Oh, I can only buy one. Then I'll buy one. And I will upgrade the spear one more time to plus three, which gives me 104 in physical damage. And hopefully that will be enough to take out the gargoyles. Hopefully not, mate. <laughs> and we are ready. Can we use the last souls to level up? Well, actually, I need a thousand, but before I go up, I'm gonna make a quick stop at Defiling Shrine just to get five more uh, Estus Blasts. So, before I get there, I think I will have just enough souls to level up before I take on the Gargoyles. Yeah! So that's our tactic for this episode, people. Whoop. Hopefully everything goes as planned. And I won't die. Just trying. Whoop. You get a backstab, my friend. And there is a little repetition in this game, you know. But it, it's supposed to be as expected when these are the same areas you cross over and over again. Whoop. Oh, my friend. Actually, it's pretty cool to have a strong spear now. I won't need to hit them over and over again. The big guy is still gone. We have reinforced the Estus Splash to plus one. That is always good, my friend. Are you coming? These guys can actually drop the Titanite Shard as a rare drop, so... When you have the chance... Uh oh take them out. Oh, Jesus Christ, not two of them. That is, of course, a bad idea. If this... Oh, it turns out bad. I'm just gonna run for it. And actually, it is turning bad. Damn it, that's a bad start. He's stuck. Maybe I can take the other one on then. Yes. Please stay stuck, my friend. No, I said stay stuck. Yeah. Now they can. <laughs> they can pass through each other. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna drink. Here you go, my friend. One more time. Wait, trouble. And you please die. Yes, now there's only one left. That was almost a bad start I got there. <laughs> but everything turned out. Did he drop something? No. Just thought I saw some light. Well, it, everything turned out okay. There is one more guy, and I'm going to take him now that we're here. Hello, my friend. Oh, 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 Jesus. Let's get a little pizza. Oh, now he won't take that from me anymore. Oh, hey, my friend. And you did. And he dropped something. A titanite shot, just like I told you. I actually got a rare drop there. The thing is, when you got humanity, uh, it doesn't matter if you're alive or dead. You can actually go in here and check on your item discovery in the right column, the very last one, and it's boosted up to 150. And that will actually raise my chance of getting the rare drops. I, I, I like to think of it as if you just take away the zero and it gives you a 15% chance of getting the rare drop. But it's, that's around right. I think that's right. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, you get a lot more rare items as high if your uh, item discovery is high. So, 
I aim for always keeping a single humanity just for the sake of getting more items. In the long run that saves you souls. And we want souls spent on leveling up and other stuff, so come he comes down, my friends. Whoop! And we're just gonna rest here because why does people put their messages right next to things? Because they know we're gonna read them then, and that is so freaking annoying. Alright, now I got 10 Estus flasks. Hmm. And let's go up and meet the gargoyles. Let's do it. Let's do it, motherfucker! I'll kill you! Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> I won't kill him. Actually, in my other playthrough, I accidentally hit that guy down there. And accidentally, yo, oh, you get one chance. If you accidentally hit someone, some of the NPCs, you gotta prepare to kill them because there is no second chance. If you hit someone, they want you dead. So, uh, hitting the blacksmith or, or some important persons like that would be a very, very bad idea. But you can be unlucky and hit them without even trying. Now, we want to go up here. There would be a guy right here, right? There he is. Hello, my friend. I got a long spear with a lot of freaking range, so just show me your best, motherfucker. Whoop! Oh, that took all my stamina. Oh, better be careful with this guy. He has his parry up. He's going to counter me if he gets a chance. Just pay attention to the animation because he will actually critical hit you if he gets a chance. Oh, damn it! I forgot to level up. Oh, damn it. Now we just have to do it without them. And here comes the zombies and there will be a lot of them but this time they're actually not boosted so that's all good I got a triple kill there very nice oh 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 easy now my friends easy my friends easy my friends oh this is going bad Going bad. I can't see shit, god damn it! And of course that happens. I fucking hate that camera. I can't see where the door is and back the fuck out. <sighs> and now we have to waste another humanity on this shit. Damn it! <laughs> I love being so angry. <laughs> it's just a game, but it will put you over the desk and give it to you right in the ass if you don't be careful. <laughs> and I didn't. So now I have to go back up, get my shit, go back down and turn human and go back up again. But that will actually only take less than a minute. Let's try and live. Let's try and watch the time. It's around... 8 minutes and 40 now. So, when I'm ready, it's about 9.40. Or else I owe you a cookie, I promise. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I have to kill the first knight before I can get my souls, actually. So, maybe it's going to take 2 minutes then. Oh, oh. Easy guy. Oh, he's going to parry me. Don't hit him now. Actually, I don't think he can parry a shield bash. I mean, a spear. The spear. Actually, I don't think he can do that. Oh, and he's not dead yet. But how about now? Oh no! No! Oh, that was lucky. No, you don't. He's dead. They are my souls. Thank you. I'm gonna run down, become human. Before that is too late. Whoop! Here we go. And yeah, that actually takes three minutes. I'm sorry for wasting three minutes, but uh, just.
just just carry on with me. I'll do something funny then. <laughs> Don't look at me. I won't let you look at me when I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, we already here. This time I'm gonna play it a little more safe because I actually don't have any more humanity, so I only get this one chance of beating the gargoyles. And being human anyway. Reverse hollowing, thank you. And we are human again. Oh, let's level up now that I remember it. Yes, this is a bonfire freaking idiot. What should I get? Hmm, I think... I think I want to go with resistance. It had a good good physical defense. Yeah, resistance. Yep, we are gonna take resistance. Hmm, there is not long to the next level. I can actually just spend some of my souls right here. That gives me 200, right? Yes. I'm gonna spend another one. Oh, there we go. And I can level up again. Right? Right. And let's take another one in resistance. Right? Yeah. Or should I take one in endurance? I'm gonna take endurance. All right, now we're ready. Now we are ready. Sorry for wasting time, but <laughs> yeah, you see, just a little mistake, and I can't even go up the ladder now. This is turn no good signs. Here we go. Now you can look at me because now I'm human. Now I'm human. Look at me. Look at me. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me. Look, 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 look. Get the fuck out of here. And let's try this again. Come on, little guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? Huh? Come on. Oh. And you're not dead, Red. Oh, you're dead now. Oh, thank you, buddy. And he drops a buckler. Damn, I never seen him drop a buckler before. That's a shield, actually. That's a bad shield, actually. Man, I can use that for anything. Why the hell would you drop that? Huh. I'll stick to my hollow shield, thank you. This time... Let's just start by going in here so I won't make the same mistake again. And let's just wait for this guys here. You're dead? You're not dead? How about now? What did he drop? That's <laughs> broken straight forward. <laughs> Piece of junk. Ah, oh, now you're dead. Oh. And now you're dead. Double kill. Now you're dead. Double kill as well. And now you're dead. Look how easy it is if you've got the room to fight them in. I just made that horrible mistake before. And let me see if I can remember the way. This way, right? I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yes, this. Yes, this is the right way. All right. Now, if you remember the sun bro that I talked to, look at this. I can actually summon him, and that is why I want to be human because I want to summon him. Come here, my friend. Because then he is going to help me 
in the battle against the gargoyles. Yeah, now he's there to help me on. I hope you're ready, Mr. Sunbro, because we are gonna take on those gargoyles and we are going to beat them. And I hope everything goes as well, people, because I don't actually have want to go back and try this again. So, traverse the white light. And I hope you're ready for the first really hard boss fight, because here it comes. Alright, here comes another one. This is bad. I haven't done any damage to him yet. Oh. oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh, just a oh no, 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 no. Break. Yes, we got the first one. Thank you. Alright, Solari, let's take him on! Yes! Oh, one more hit, we got him! Oh! Yes! <sighs> Thank you very much, Mr. Sunbro. We got the Gargoyle Helm, Twin Humanities, and a Sunlight Medal, and 10,000 souls! That's how you do it. Phew! <laughs> that was actually nice. I did that in my first try. In my last uh, playthrough, I... Yeah, yet again, I, I tried ten times or something. <laughs> now I know there's no enemies here, so before we end this part, I am gonna go up here and... Spoiler alert! <laughs> you already know. This is a church tower, so of course there's going to be one of the bells up here. And I'm going up to ring it, and that will actually be the first part of my main objective to ring this bell, and then it's onward to the one down in Blight Town. But let's do one thing first be very careful not to drop out because that will be pretty sucky right now. <laughs> and here it is ring the bell, please. Here we go! Actually, anyone being this place in their game can actually hear me ringing my bell in my game right now. They, they, they can hear the bell ring in their game. That is actually really awesome. It's a whole new, uh, what do you call that, interactive way to play. Before we go back, there has spawned a guy, an NPC, right down here. And he can teach me a very cool gesture. And that I want to learn. Here he is. Greetings, my friend. I am Oswald of Karim, the Bordener. Yeah, I like fate because I'm not a sorcerer. I just want to learn the gesture. Well, what is it? And this is actually really cool. Try and look at this. 
look at this, look at this, look at this. Oops, not this one. Here we go. Look at this. Here it is. Well, what you want? What you want? Huh? A little punk. <laughs> I think that's cool. <laughs> Purchase item. What you got? Nothing I need. Nothing I need. Boost bleeding resistance. Hmm. Nah. Don't really need it. I am going to use my homeward born as I just got. And that is going to shut the hell up when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> and that is going to bring me back to the last bonfire. And that is going to be the end of this part. I'll see you back in the next part where we're going to level up and start venturing down into Blight Town. See ya.